Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everybody. Thank you so, so much for coming back. I don't want to give you the regular old YouTube spiel. If you're new here, you know, I'm just going to say, hey, I'm the Taj Factor um, and welcome to my channel. If you see smoke, it's my incense burning. Don't mind it. The house is not on fire. It's totally fine. Um, so basically today, I just wanted to talk to y'all about stress. Um, and not about stress itself necessarily, but how to stop stressing per the title. Um, so let's just get right into it because y'all know I don't do a lot of fluff and hustle bustle. We get to it, honey, and we get done with it. Because y'all got stuff to do. We got things to do. Honey, we got to go. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's jump into it. So first things first, stress um comes from uh it's gonna go back to my other videos y'all are gonna hear me talk about resistance a lot because it plays a huge part in my life i know it does um but the thing is it comes from non-acceptance essentially which is resistance and so when you stress um you feel like you're being either stretched or like crunched in and you feel just very uncomfortable you may feel angry or a bunch of other things but it's all because you're not just letting it flow so today we're going to talk about how to just get to a place or work toward that place where you can just kind of let it flow so um first i want to talk about you know life in general right life comes in waves there are always ups and downs and oh wait a minute time out I got a new pure Cindy. I'll see it. I like it. Um, I like it a lot. But anyway, no, seriously. Um, when it comes to life, there are always ups and downs, right? Life comes in waves, just like anything else. Good things and lessons. I don't like to say bad things, but some bad things do happen. Um, but anyway, so how we get to the root of it is just facing it head on right you cannot run from your stress it's around you it's in you it's in here so there's no escaping it so we either have two choices either we run from it or we we try to run from it or we face it right so let's talk about facing it so the first thing i want you to do is go to a place by yourself um it's a little exercise y'all just bear with me trust me just try it um Go to a quiet place in your house or a place where you will be left alone. Make it a soothing environment. If you like incense, if you're into sage, if you're into essential oils, or you just like fragrances in the house, just make it real comfortable and make it real pleasant for you. A clean space, just something that feels good to be in. These are my notes. And um, then from there, I want you to start writing down every single thing that is stressing you out. Um, and you can get specific, get as specific as you want, but the whole point of this is to pinpoint exactly what the problem is because a lot of the time we feel things and we don't know, like we feel discontent within us, right? We know that something's wrong and we don't know exactly what the problem is. Um, and so you can solve that by just taking a second. It's gonna take a minute, it's gonna take some silence and you're gonna have to be real with yourself. This is an exercise you cannot try to lie, you only playing yourself basically. So first thing, write it down. Write down every single thing that is stressing, little stressors, big stressors, write them all down. That's identifying it. The second step is to reflect. So when we are reflecting, we're thinking about, okay, so what exactly is making this situation um, stressful? Like say if it's a, a, you have a lot of debt, right? We're gonna use this as an example because we live in a place where a lot of people have a lot of debt. Um, and I know that this may resonate. So we'll use this as a walking example. You have a lot of debt, right? So that's what you write down. And then you think, okay, so why am I stressed about this debt? Like, if it's student loan debt. Like, you knew you were going to have it. And so now things may have changed. You may be in a different financial situation. And it's causing you some strain. So that would be the reason, right? And you're like, okay, because I can't afford to pay it. That's my reason. So next thing I want you to do is reflect a little deeper though. And I want you to look at this from more of a personal perspective because that reason, that's a very valid reason, I relate, but it's up here. And what really gets us to the root of things and gets us to problem solving is getting down here where the root is. And so you look at what's being triggered here. Is it my sense of 
like lack? Do I feel like I don't have enough? Like, do I feel like I'm incapable of holding up my end of the deal? I mean, numbers don't lie at the same time, but this can go better toward like examples where there's a, a certain situation, let's say a relationship. This for this step is better served for something that's a little deeper, but it can still work because essentially what I'm trying to get you to do is go to what really is the problem here. Like, is the problem a lack of money or is my problem lack of solutions? Because I, honestly, anymore, y'all, I don't believe in problems. I believe in lack of solutions. And I learned that from one of my mentors. So next, number three, after you reflect deeper on what the problem is, you move on to... Um, writing down all and any solutions you can think of because that's what we want to start to focus on at this point we've identified what the problem is we know what's stressing us out and now we want to move on to okay what's going to solve this problem if we can solve the problem at all right so the next thing i want you to do is after you write down all the things that you you can do about it not something that somebody else out of your control what is in your control what can you do about it i want you to write that down right next to the problem like side by side because that visual it gives me like a i don't know it gives me a feeling of like okay all right we can do this right so just write it side by side and then after that ask yourself and be honest once again ask yourself am i willing to do what it takes to solve this problem and really sit with that because then you come to a fork in the road, a real fork, right? And this is where, where you get real, real. Either you're willing to do the work or you're choosing the stress. There's no in between, right? You're either doing the work of solving the problem, either you're getting a second stream of income, honey, you gonna go door dash, you gonna do a side, side hustle, you know, all the YouTube videos got all the side hustles. You gonna go do one of those, you gonna do, do whatever you have to do to get the money or you're just going to continue to complain about it and choose, keyword choose, to continue to straight, stay stressed about it, right? So those are that's the fork in the road. So once you get to that point and you say, okay, I am willing to do what it, what it takes. I'm willing to go and door dash or I'm willing to learn a new skill that can bring me some passive income. Then you say, okay, let's map it out, right? There, there's this idea that, that I have on how to solve this problem and it's great and all that it's up here but i've learned that writing y'all when people say write it down like writing just makes it real and it makes it more tangible and like it just works so just try it just be open just try it so after you write down the solutions um and you map it out like step by step i'm gonna go do this first thing i gotta do i don't know why i keep going to doordash probably because i just downloaded it and i haven't dashed yet but boom i'm gonna go to the app i'm gonna download it next thing i do i gotta put some gas in my car i gotta schedule out some time etc you get the picture like get real that's where you gotta get real specific because that is the game plan that is what you're gonna stick to on a daily daily basis until this stressor is no longer a part of your life so after that oh on the other hand if you are not willing um to do what it takes or if you cannot do anything about the problem like say it's if you're like a teenager and the issue is <clears throat> something with your parents is just an example some things are just beyond our control and even as adults some things most things aren't if we're being real about it but they seem like they are because of our vantage point or vantage vantage vintage is like old stuff yeah <laughs> and so if from our vantage point it looks like it's the impossible right there's nothing i can do but there's truly 99 percent of the time there's something you can do to help it we just rather complain about it most of the time right i'm being real today y'all don't hate me um so then if if you can't do anything about it or if you are not willing to do the work that's fine be honest enough to say that but then from that place you have to work you still got to do some work right it's working toward accepting what i cannot change word to like aa or whatever that is right you have to work toward acceptance and that's the key to life because and i think this is why they they teach it it just resonated like that just clicked with me i have family members who struggle with substance use um so it just clicked like that's valid that they teach people that because they want to teach them to manage their stress 
um, and to avoid stress because that's triggering, right? So anyway, back to the topic. What you want to do after that um, is work toward acceptance. You do this by, one, it's clear to see there's no solution that I can provide to the situation. Um, and so what other choice do I have? You have two choices. You can choose to continue to stress, choose to be stressed, or you can choose to accept it for what it is and know that, just trust that it's all for the greater good. Like that's all that brings me peace. When things are just terrible, it's like, it's gotta be for the greater good, right? So that's kind of how I do it. And then it's gonna be a process. I don't, I mean, sometimes it just, it lifts like that if you really accepted it. But when you really accept it, you won't be stressed anymore. It's like magic. <laughs> Seriously, it is. And, and I'm speaking from firsthand experience because every day, like this morning, I was thinking of something that threw me off, honey, had me all off. And I'm like, why am I even focused on that? And that's, first of all, it wasn't even a present issue. It was something I'm thinking about like months down the line that I'm going to have to do and how that's going to affect people. But it's like, why am I, I need to be here. And I, I wanna go into presence at the end of this video um, because that's also key in managing and, and getting rid of stress. So then um, after that, you rinse and you repeat the process, right? That's it, that's it. You have to identify the problem, identify potential solutions. If you cannot find a solution, you choose acceptance and you work toward acceptance. So I want to say this, y'all. Be kind, be kind and be gentle with yourself because when you're going, you're stressed already, right? Nobody, you shouldn't beat a dead horse. And so don't beat yourself up. Even if you got yourself into the situation that's causing you stress, please don't because it's not gonna help you, right? It's gonna just make you more upset and it's gonna take you more problem focused instead of solution focused because when we're emotional, we are not able to properly carry out the things that are in our greater good, greatest good. Um, so please be gentle. And just as a daily life thing, be gentle with yourself because y'all, it's a lot being a human. And we came to this planet without a rule book, right? Not an official rule book um, on how to manage ourselves and all the things that life throws at us. Some of us have parents that serve as that and some of us don't. And some of us, have to fill in the gaps so I'm just trying to help us fill in the gaps um but be gentle to yourself and be kind to yourself and appreciate yourself for committing to do the work rather that's working toward acceptance or actually working out the map plan that you came up with um and accept or no not accept applaud yourself and um what do I want to say applaud yourself and be grateful to yourself for choosing to face a problem head on and to be committed to doing the work and ultimately you're doing this work to make your mind a nicer place to live and so that's something to love yourself for right like you're really trying to uplift yourself in a way that is not superficial right it's bigger than so this goes into self-care being gentle with yourself it's not just putting on a face mask and getting your nails done. It's like really going inside, knowing how to love yourself from inside. And you do this by becoming a person that you respect essentially. And part of that, a quick gateway to becoming somebody that you really respect is by facing your problems head on. So um, the only way to do this on a consistent basis is if you are constantly observing yourself. And in another video one day, I'll probably go into what that means, but Learn how to sit with yourself. Feel what you're feeling, right? Don't judge it. Just feel it. Like, where is this coming from? Am I feeling it in my throat? Am I feeling it in my chest? Am I feeling this in my stomach? Which, you know, when, when the guts gets talking, baby, you got to listen. But really learn to, to feel your body and feel your emotions without becoming them. So that's, I mean, that's like the whole Zen master stuff, right? And it's real because from that place, there's power. There's power because then you can identify problems, you can come up with game plans, or you can do the work. So y'all, that's all I have for you. Um, this video did run a little bit longer than I wanted it to. 
and also to help with stress sometimes you just gotta dance like sometimes you just gotta put on some music put you on some cute clothes or whatever you're into whatever makes you feel good and for a second just let it go like just let it go because whether you stress about it or not it still exists right so it's like why choose if it's gonna be here either way why not choose to find a way to feel better while it's here while we work toward getting rid of it right so that's pretty much all i have for y'all today uh this is a longer video it literally was supposed to be like five minutes but i really hope that it helps someone um thank y'all so much for coming back i appreciate it y'all are loved like i just really want this to be a place where people can come to get a little bit of love a little laugh and a little something is going to help you manage yourself and manage your life in a way that makes it more fun and more pleasant because if we got to be here we might as well live it up right uh, we might as well enjoy ourselves even when we have problems going on around us and when we have stressors in our life that kind of throw us off balance so i love y'all I hope that February is treating you well, and uh, I hope that you continue to come back to the Tosh Factor. If you found this video valuable, please tell a friend. Um, you know, if you liked it, like it. If you didn't, don't like it. And then, um, of course, subscribe. I, I wasn't going to give y'all this spiel, but my nephew was like, sometimes I forget to subscribe if people don't say subscribe so subscribe if you want to if you don't that's fine too if you want to just keep coming back that's perfectly fine so I'll see y'all in the next video um I love y'all so much and I'm gonna leave you with a quick quote bye bye